In this lesson, we're going to continue to uh, work on the interior portion of the car. And I'm just, you know, going to continue to go ahead and refine the shape of the vehicle here for the inside of it. And I just really want it to match, you know, properly and um, as well as I can because whenever we go to render it, you're going to be able to see through through the windows and through the windshield and you don't really want to see any ears and that's where it's going to get a little bit tricky. And you can see where I'm, you know, constantly spinning around the model trying to get the interior to, mat interior to match as, you know, as well as I can because any minor error is just not going to look great whenever we go to render it. And the more effort and the more work you put in, the better the end result should actually be. And doing the interior cage here will, you know, allow us to, to go ahead and add seat belt meshes and a few other things so that we can, you know, really give that illusion of having a very, very detailed car. And I'm always constantly, you know, checking and spinning around the mesh to make sure that it's, you know, looking proper and nice. And, I mean, th this isn't really that complicated. And all you have to really do is just, you know, be mindful of, of what you're doing on the inside portion of the car. And definitely, you know, just take your time to, to try to make it, you know, look proper and nice. And it's just a lot of, you know, vertex editing, vertex moving.
this is definitely where it, you know, it takes a little bit of extra time to really get this stuff all, you know, laid out properly and, and fitting proper. And there I'm just check double checking the uh the smooth mesh to make sure that there aren't gonna be any errors in here. And we're not gonna get, you know, any creases or anything. I will do a third part for it, for the interior cage here because I want to make sure that you know we don't capture any errors or anything, and we'll polish it a lot. <laughs> 